Minecraft. You love it, I love it, we all love it, but why do we love it? I mean, sure, it's a part of everyone's childhood. I mean, you've either grown up watching Stampy... Hello, this is Stampy! Sky does Minecraft... <laughs> or Dan TDM. Hey, how's it going? I've actually got something for you. This is the bread that you asked me to get, and you can now go make me a sandwich! What is it about Minecraft that always brings people back to it? Whether they're feeling down, or whether they just want to rush nostalgia. Minecraft is always there to sate that need. And it's truly incredible that Minecraft is able to do this without changing that much. You see, I have a bit of a game theory here. Minecraft is played by people of all ages. You have streamers who are in their 20s or even late 20s playing the game, and then you have like 10 to 12 year olds playing it, and there's people in between as well. And the people who are younger, they're not fueled off nostalgia. They're fueled off of other people's nostalgia. Because the people who are in their 20s who are playing the game, and they see them playing the game, they're like, oh, I want to try this, this looks really fun. And it's kind of given a spark to Minecraft that wasn't there before, because Minecraft truly is a part of people's childhoods. Whether you want to accept it or not, it's undeniable that it is a part of our childhood, and it's going to be a part of people's childhoods going into the future. So I just want to take a deep dive and see how Minecraft has changed, and how the people who have played it have changed with it. Now, I think I'm speaking for everyone when I say one of the first instances of running into Minecraft when you're around my age was either the Yogg's cast... Hooray! Minecraft! ...or Stampy Long Nose. Hello! And these guys were so... ...brainless back then. And it was funny, they were hilarious, and Stampy had this aura of wholesomeness, and Lewis and Simon just bounced off each other constantly. It was great chemistry. And then Minecraft kind of not died out, because it never really died out. Minecraft has never really truly died out, but it just kind of fizzled out a little bit. Now, back when these guys were playing... Minecraft was relatively basic compared to how it is today. There was no hunger system, there was no end. Zombies used to drop feathers back then, which is something that I always remembered. And it was back when console edition of Minecraft became so popular. It was the main reason people played in the first place. Because they saw Stampy playing, and they were like, Oh, I want to play with my friends like this. And that's great! It's Minecraft is such a creative outlet for everyone. No matter who you are, you can create a masterpiece of Minecraft if you put your mind to it. Or, you know, you can just make a penis, but, you know, it's up to you. Then we go to about eight to six years ago. This is when all the mod reviews used to pop up. You know, Sky does Minecraft. <laughs> Dan TDM. Go make me a sandwich! Ant Venom. Hey, guys. Ant Venom here. Oh, crap. The like. These are classic. The classic videos, classic YouTubers, what could go wrong? Nothing could go wrong. It went wrong. And eventually they just kind of fizzled out. Um, people still make mod reviews. Granted, mods are a lot more complex. And impressive. And well suited for the game. But that's besides the point. These guys pioneered that kind of content on YouTube. And... It's unforgettable, and those videos have so many views and likes. It's a wonder that these guys are still relatively popular. And now we zoom forward to about two years ago. PewDiePie makes Minecraft Part 1, gets 48 million views, and suddenly everyone is back on the Minecraft trend. And this time, it's so diverse in content. You've got cursed Minecraft videos, you've got... Hardcore, speedrunning, so many different avenues to approach Minecraft now. It's phenomenal. And the updates, the updates just kept coming. You had the, bur 
the bees. The bees. You got the bees. The buzzy bees. Uh, you have the cave update. Well, the first half that came out. Aquatic, you had so many. The nether update. The nether update changed the nether entirely. Changed it for the better. And Minecraft has just been on a roll since then. It hasn't died out. If anything, it's going up in popularity, if I'm being honest. Uh, due to Dream and Corpse and SMPs. But it hasn't always been like that. And the, there is a downside to the SMPs and Dream and all that. And it's the stands. You have Minecraft stands, you have Minecraft YouTuber stands, and now you have streamers, and everything. There's so many different ways to approach Minecraft nowadays. It's oversaturated. Granted, it was oversaturated about eight years ago with the mod reviews, but now it's oversaturated in almost every avenue. It's difficult to approach this game in a new light. So, when you do see something that is genuinely refreshing, it's incredible. Like... Uh, Minecraft Block Facts. He's someone who I love personally, and it's just so good to see someone doing something different. Uh, so yeah, this is like my little tangential rant, I guess you could say, um, about the, ev the evolution of Minecraft. Honestly, this game has been a part of my childhood. It's been a part of me for as long as I can remember. When it came out, I was seven. Now I'm 18. This is terrifying. Uh, but yeah, so the passage of time is slowly going to kill us all, but it's not going to kill Minecraft. Stay tuned next time for more funny content. Haha, <laughs> bye. Hello, Zuck, you beautiful bastard. How are you doing today, you ninky nonk? Isn't that adorable?